Hi guys, welcome back. Um, hope you had a great Christmas and uh, you're enjoying the time off. This uh, this video is the start of the tips and tricks series and this week um, I'm going to show you how to create product packaging, uh, in particular nets, um, quickly and easily with SolidWorks using the sheet metal tool. Um, you may or may not know of the sheet metal and I plan to go into it more detail another day. But this is just a quick video to show you um, how I recently got around designing some product packaging nets quickly and easily using SolidWorks. Um, and what you can do is design the shape you want, um, use the SolidWorks tools, or create a net, um, put the net on a drawing sheet one to one, plot it or print it out, cut it out, and you'll quickly realize if your idea concept is going to work or if it won't. So it kind of takes you into the proving process. So, um, all right guys, let's uh, jump in and take a look. All right guys, so we're just gonna jump in and go new part, new part. So you're gonna come on the top plane and we're gonna sketch. And they're gonna come up and put a polygon on, in, on, in. And we're gonna say it's six sides. And um, just gonna put a dimension. So it's 150 across the widest point. Just going to snap that onto the plane so it's uh, coincident, making it vertical. Come out of the sketch, go features, extrude, select our sketch, and we'll say it's 200 tall. So we're saying that our packaging footprint is, um, you know, uh, about 150 by 200, something like that. We just make this plain white background and then what we want to do is come in and go to sheet metal if you don't have the sheet metal tab up right click on your tabs and sheet metal will appear there and so come into the sheet metal tab up here and we want the convert to sheet metal and so this is the process of converting the shape into our net so we've got quite a few things going on here but don't worry We'll go through them. Select a fixed entity. So, which face do you want to um, remain as is? Now, this does depend on how you want the net to be created. So, in this example, I'm going to select this side because I'm saying that I want this top to be a flap, the bottom to be a flap, and then we've got all of the individual sides um, that can be folded in. So. T1 is the thickness, so 1.5, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, bend radius, 0.1, yeah, that's fine. Collect all bends, um, that's if you want to do it manually, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do it manually here. And this is just telling SolidWorks where the bends are on the product. And we're gonna do it down the bottom as well. It should pick up, yeah, it's picked up that loop. And then if we come down here, we've got some more information. So G, I'm going to put that down to 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Uh, and that's just the spacing. So 0 0.1 gives you less spacing. And we'll go OK. And let's sort of what's do its thing. So what you can see if you're zooming in, it's got these little tears now. And what SolidWorks has done cleverly, it's um, converted our existing shape volume into a sheet metal part. And this will enable us to um, make it as a flat pattern. So if we quickly come down here and unsuppress the flat pattern, you can see it's created us the net of the product, which is super helpful. And there's a few things missing, like some tabs, um, but we'll have a look in how you can create them now. So if we suppress that one back up. And what we're going to do is we want to unfold the product a minute. So let's figure out where it is here. So if we come up to the unfold tool, select that face, collect all bends. And what we want to do is we want the product to be flat. So we've got the flat here, the net flat. So we come up to edge flange, select these edges. 
And I'm just going to say that our tabs want to be 15 mil all the way along. Something like that. And uh, then come back up to the fold command. It remembers the face that you selected for unfold. So you hit the collect all bends. And it should fold it back up into the shape um, that we need. There we go. It's looking good. Um, and yeah, what you can do now is if you save the part, whatever you want to call it, uh, call it product packaging. And then you can go file, make drawing. And then with a sheet metal part, it remembers, um, it brings the flat pattern in as a view, which is really helpful. And um, what I'd recommend doing is creating a one-to-one. -one. Um, so here we go, flat pattern. And, uh, you know, make it one to one so you know that's the actual size of your product and there, there you go you're good to go you can print that off plot it um, cut it out and um, yeah prove your design or concept so that's it for this week guys a um, bit of a shorter video I think the tips and tricks series videos will be shorter so hopefully you found it helpful or enjoyed it. If you did, um, please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and notification button as we've got content coming weekly. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of your time off and uh, look forward to seeing you in the new year. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.